Hello, uh, today I'm going to talk about how to make the correlation matrix in R. Uh, first, we go into import data. This is the data we go going to use. The data show the variation between genotype in different parameters, including yield, height, shore, root dry mat, and tiller number. After the data was imported, we can start to perform the correlation magic analysis. I'm going to show you two different methods. The first method, we're going to use the core function. Uh, before we can perform the correlation matrix analysis, we need to convert the data frame into the matrix. So I use this code, s.matrix, and then I select the column from column number three to column number seven. So that corresponding to tiller to root. I run this code now. So now we already have a matrix it named mat. To perform the correlation matrix analysis, we just use the function core and we just put the name of the matrix in here. I run this. Uh, this is the result of the analysis and this data shows the correlation coefficient. Uh, as you can see in here, the root has all the NA. It doesn't have number. Why this happen? Uh, this happened because in the data of root has a missing data. We can look back at the data frame and here is the missing data in the root parameter. So how we can deal with the missing data in this case? We just simply include the code use equal pairwise dot complete dot OBS. So with this course, we will remove the missing data when we perform uh, the correlation and analysis between the root and with another parameter. I run this code now. As you can see now, we have the correlation coefficient um, between root and other parameter. Uh, we also can plot the correlation chart to plot the correlation chart, we need to use a package core plot. So I load this package. Uh, and then we can plot the correlation chart using the core plot function. And we need to include the core mat here. And this one is a correlation analysis. And the type I use here is upper. I run this and we can see. Uh, this is the correlation chart. Uh, however, in this case, you see the root doesn't have the correlation coefficient. So we need to include the code as a bar. I just copy this. And I try to run it again. No, actually you have to include in here. So I run this now. Now we can see, now we have the correlation coefficient uh, between the root and other parameters. As we can see here, this axis, it shows a, a correlation coefficient. It in the red color, it is a, a negative correlation, but in the a blue color, that is positive correlation. Uh, with this method, we don't have the p-value. We only have the correlation coefficient. So if we want to have the data of uh, p-value, we need to use another method. And the second method, we will use the package uh, hmisc. So I need to load this package. And then we use the function rcore and we need to include the matrix name we already transfer 
above. So I run this code. To show the result, I need to run this. So this is a correlation analysis. So this is the correlation coefficient. And here, this is uh, the number, the observation. Uh, for example, Tula is 24, and root here is 23. And in the last table, uh, it is a p-value. Uh, if you want to extract the p-value or correlation coefficient alone, you can do that. For example, to extract the correlation coefficient, we just use the code cor dollar symbol and uh, and r. I run this, and z is a correlation coefficient. And if you want to get the p-value, you just run this code cor and uh, p-value. And this is a, a p-value of the correlation matches. Of course, if you want to export the data into the Excel five, you can do that. We just simply use the code write.csv, and then we have the data frame here. In this case, is a, a correlation coefficient, and then we name for the the five. Uh, similarly, if you want to have the data p-value, you, you run this code. Uh, the first line here, that is the part I want to save uh, the data I want to export to. So I run this first. And then I run this code, and I run this code. I can check in the download here. Here we already have uh, two files of, uh, of the data. Uh, we also can uh, plot the correlation chart uh, with this type of analysis. Uh, we also use the core plot function, and then we include the correlation coefficient. The type we use here is upper. The order we keep original, and the p matrix we use the um, correlation value, and the significant level we use 0.05. And I keep the insignificant is blank. I run this code and you can see. As you can see, this is a correlation chart. Uh, all the blank here, that is uh, uh, non-significant. This one and this one are significant and they are negatively correlated. And this one is significant and uh, positively correlated. If you want to use a type foo, you can use that. So this is a full type of uh, correlation chart. And if you want to use uh, under, oh no, sorry, that is lower. We can have the lower type of correlation. If you want to understand more about the core plot, you just type question mark and then core plot and here and you can understand more about this. Uh, for example, the order, you can select the original and other type, for example, alphabet. So when we have the correlation chart, we can export it into an image file for report. Uh, to export that, we use the code uh, PNG here, and then we use the depth.off. In the PNG, we need to have the file name, and we need the path for this. I want to uh, export that into the download, so I check the path. I need to get info. And then I just copy this. Now I come back here and I just paste in here. Uh, this is the name of the image. This is the resolution of the image. And uh, this is the size of the image in centimeter. And in here we need to have correlation chart. 
I run this code now. Now we can check. And here is a correlation matches with already is pot in here. So this is very nice correlation uh, chart. Uh, this is a very good way to analyze the correlation uh, between many variables and uh, just only one chart but we can have a lot of information and it is also very informative uh, i hope the video is useful for you thank you for the watching